ahead some value real estate report, we can now confirm that sales of single family residential homes year over year decreased across the board. However, the median price of a single family residence rose in every county, with the largest being a whopping 13.8% increase in Rockland County. Noticeably, Westchester County, with the highest prices in the region, had the smallest percent increase of 4.5% taking the median single-family home price in that county to 660000 Yet Rockland County's single-family home sales decreased by 21.2%. We're now seeing single-family homes selling below list price in all counties north of Westchester and Rockland, where bidding wars are still happening when homes are priced correctly when first listed. Lack of inventory continues to be a problem, with no meaningful resolution on the near horizon. With the Fed tightening monetary policy, it is expected that mortgage rates will stabilise this year. Subsequently, the lower Hudson Valley real estate market is expected to continue with tight inventory and lower sales over the next few months. Most analysts believe market conditions will begin to improve in the second and third quarters of this year. We're hoping that as the real estate investment component of the GDP has fallen for the six straight months, combined with the approximately two months of lag time between the mortgage rate decreases we saw in December and the subsequent home sales, buying activity should rebound in the coming months. All we need now is the inventory to sell. The upshot is, if you do sell now, price it right, and you will sell well. But the million dollar question remains, where will you go? And at what cost? We have researched some out of the box ideas you may well like to entertain. Whether you want to stay where you are, but build more equity, discover new destinations to consider, or available incentives to entice you to buy. We have the answers. Want to know more? Contact me at the number below and let's get the conversation started.